Okay, so I finished all the, the well, nearly all the finessing of the components, and I'm at the point now where I'm almost ready to assemble. Uh, and I spent the last probably two hours, actually three hours, doing a little bit of research and some drafting and plotting. And the reason being, I was looking to find out whether HMS Roberts had a wooden deck, and she doesn't. She has a steel deck. So that problem was solved, that answer was solved. There is a tiny little bit of wood uh, on one of the decks um, uh, uh, towards the, the stern of the boat, but plenty of wood to cover that. So the issue I came across that held things up a little bit was in uh, doing the research, I came across HMS Roberts's sister ship, Abercrombie, which I've seen in the past but not really paid a lot of attention to. And uh, as I was having a look, it occurred to me that the superstructure on Abercrombie was visually a little bit more interesting. Now, Abercrombie had a similar start to her career at a similar time uh, to HMS Roberts. She was involved in the invasion of Sicily again in the Mediterranean, but spent the end of the war in the around Singapore in that area rather than uh, like Roberts spent the end of the war at uh, D Day on the on on the beaches near the beaches there. So Roberts had a slightly more exciting end to the war they both ended up being scrapped interestingly Abercrombie was scrapped about 80 miles from where I am right now uh, so it has a little bit of a local connection for me in that sense Abercrombie was scrapped in 1954 I think Roberts was scrapped in 65 so Roberts had a slightly longer career but as I said I, uh, I I was looking and I, I, I've been on the fence and thinking, oh, what sh which one should I go with? Because um, Abercrombie secondary guns uh, are, are lifted one deck level up, uh, unlike um, Roberts's secondary guns that actually sit on the main deck. So visually it adds a little bit more interest and a little bit more height to a, a, a quite a wide boat. So I'm, I'm erring on the side of doing... Uh, Abercrombie at the moment but because I hadn't made my mind up what I've done is using my HMS Roberts plan and then using another plan that I didn't actually print out I've just been going off my uh, iPad and some reference I've drawn both sets of superstructure on the deck it, it won't hurt it's going to be covered eventually but basically anything that for instance if you look at this component here anything in pencil is the same on both ships if it's in green if i've drawn it in green it, it's specific to abercrombie if it's in this pinky orange it's specific to roberts so for instance on this component what will when i've cut each either this wider one for abercrombie or this narrower one for roberts that will dictate that's when i've made my ultimate decision it's the same here the interesting thing here if i'm just say that so you can see it can I zoom out a smidge there we are. There's the, the, the turret footprint. The, uh, is it a barbet ring? I'm not quite sure of the actual terminology. On Roberts, the raid superstructure sits between the main battle bridge, the main bridge, which is this shape here, and the turret ring. Part of the raised superstructure sits here, one deck up. On Abercrombie, that's in the same place the the bridge is in the same place but this raised superstructure area doesn't exist this is still main flat deck but all of this area here has raised superstructure behind unlike roberts which most of the superstructure behind there is flat so i've drawn both on uh to help me make a decision visually and at the moment i think i'm actually airing with abercrombie <coughs> abercrombie's first level extra level deck if you like superstructure runs right to the gunwale right to the to the um, edge of the deck to, in order to maintain strength i've brought the combing edges in other words the hole i'm going to cut in about an inch and a half so that there is a portion of deck running along the entire length of the boat because it still gives me a huge plenty of open space here and space here for adding and putting weight and putting batteries and things like that uh, we can see here um, Roberts's superstructure at the back of the boat is somewhat wider 
Abercrombie's is narrower, but there's an entire extra level of and this this is like a there's a a, um, a deck area with an, a covered walkways underneath it, and it i think it makes it visually just a, a little bit more interesting so what i'm going to do is go with is the green cutouts which are now abercrombie unfortunately they're both the same but i've actually changed now uh, and it's a change from roberts to abercrombie purely because i thought it had visually a little bit more interest another thing is um roberts only has a rangefinder on top of the main turret. Abercrombie has a rangefinder and then two little anti-aircraft turrets on top of it. So she's a slightly more interesting boat. So from this video onwards, it's actually going to be titled HMS Roberts Abercrombie and then on from there, HMS Abercrombie, because I'm at, that's the one I'm going to go with. It's a lot, I, uh, visual things appeal to me enormously, things that I find interesting visually. One thing I don't like about Abercrombie is the fact that just this turret barbette here sticks up straight out of the deck and there's nothing, I don't mind anything in front of it, but it's odd. I think it looks odd with nothing behind it, but that's, that's the choice I've got to live with. Uh, Roberts has this raised area behind, Abercrombie has an entirely raised area here. Abercrombie's main bridge is a little bit wider as well. It's, it's got an extra area on the side. So the boat layout for, at the back's the same. The gun layouts and the mounts are generally similar. Um, the shape of these um, uh, armoured um, handrails differs slightly on Abercrombie, but everything basically in front of the main guns identical the bridge is similar the flying bridge is the same the, the funnel's the same so um it, it'll require a little bit of jiggling backwards and forwards between reference but right now i'm quite happy if i sat this in place i just remind myself form nine form nine that's where the main deck sits so here here's our um keel if you like the main deck sits in that position in relationship to the keel and then former 10 you can see sits at that position there here's former 10 position on the um transom deck shall we call it on the rear deck if i line that up in place that's where the deck and we'll see here this is where the edge comes out of the boat the actual deck itself will sit about that kind of height so it, it's coming uh hopefully on the next video you see I'll have some formers in place. I might be able to have that resting. I'll have these holes cut and um, things will be progressing nicely. So slight change of direction whilst modeling the same subject. I just thought it might be interested to hear the thought process as it went into changing my mind and just seeing the slight differences in um, the, the superstructure, which made it appeal to me slightly more in terms of uh, a visual sense. Uh, like I said, I think Roberts has got the slightly more exciting life. Um, certainly, as a as a as a as a layman sat in a workshop, I can't speak as a member of the crew or any of the battles it actually fought in. But certainly, reading the history of it, it seems Roberts had a slightly more exciting life um, and a longer life. But Abercrombie appealed to me slightly more on a visual basis. So I've gone with the, the visuals in that sense. Okay, okay.